Okay, so I've been playing around with the uh, Arduino K3NG gear, and uh, I broke out a pair of my iambic paddles uh, so I could test some of the iambic functions and uh, things of that nature. So let's go on and reset it. Okay, and you can hear the uh, did it did it did it the uh, high message that it uses when it powers on. And now you can see uh, okay so the, the paddles are working. Uh, I also added a uh, another resistor and a wire to act as, as a button. So if you remember this is the uh, the command button here. Okay so now it's in command mode and uh, you can do some neat stuff here. Um, I'm trying to remember, oh, the, the frequency of the side tone. If you give it a, an F, it starts generating a tone. And then if you hold the one paddle, the tone goes up. The other way, it goes down. You figure out where you want it. And then you hold the paddles together, and it sets it. And then you hit the command button again. And then uh, it goes back into um, play mode. Okay. Uh, added a, uh, oh, the, the speed function. Let's do speed. And then you can send it a W. And it starts generating dits. You can speed them up. You can slow them down. And then when you hit the two paddles together, it should uh, give me the, the speed in Morse that it's currently set at. So let's see. Okay, so it said 16 words per minute. Let's go exit command mode and... <laughs> All right, so... Uh, what were some of the other features there? Oh, um, paddle reverse uh, is an N. So, so now the paddles are reversed instead of the dits being on the left side. So let's go back and reset that. And then, and then let's see. Okay, so now they're back to normal. That's cool. Um, what was uh, the tune function? Hit the command button. Uh, Alright, so now you just tap the paddle and it stays like that. And then tap it again and it stops. Um, trying to think of some of the other uh, features that it... Oh, uh, iambic modes. Let me see. All right, uh, let's put it in regular iambic mode. And then, uh, so when you squeeze the paddles, they alter. And this is mode A. So if I go and tap the paddles, did I, but, but if I tap and then squeeze, okay, it generates an A. That's iambic mode uh, A. Let me go. Okay, so now it should be in iambic mode B. Now, see, when I press and hold, it's going to generate an R because it adds that extra dit. So a press and squeeze does the R. Let's go back into command mode. And now I set it into automatic. Automatic's neat because when you squeeze the paddles, it just generates more of the last, of the opposite of the last one to go. So if we go... Um, like to generate a B, I, I, I press and squeeze. Unlike iambic modes. Or like a J, I go. Okay, or a 1, or whatever. So that's automatic mode. Um, I'm trying to think of what some of the uh, other features were here, because I don't have the, the printout in front of me. But it does a lot of really cool stuff. Um, 
you can you can keep it wired up to the computer and uh, you can send with the computer and it's got all sorts of, of beacons oh this simulates my one command but or not my command button but my one memory button this here but when I ground it it should generate the uh, the message I have programmed in there Oh, you see that flashing light? That that's the king line. Um, so I wanted something to give me uh, some indication of the king because I can demonstrate a couple other features here. Okay, one of those features is uh, I can turn side tone off. So let me uh, go in there and hit I. And now, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was transmitter inhibit because you see the LED doesn't light up even though I'm keying. All right, let me uh, do I again. And now, oh. okay, and now I turn the keying back on. So that's if you just want to send side tone. I mean, uh, side tone without keying the transmitter, you can turn that off. Uh, there's also an, the ability to turn off the side tone, but keep the transmitter keying. Anyways, so that's it, the K3NG Arduino keyer. Uh, I think I'm just about ready to, to solder it all together on a board here. Um, I might play around and add some more switches and, and try a couple more things. I'm thinking about maybe adding a little uh, op amp. Like I, I think I got a LM380 laying around here that I could use as an amp to drive uh, more power. I haven't been able to find a smaller speaker than that. I think that's sucking up all my all the uh, the output. That's maybe why it's so quiet. But okay, again the K3NG Arduino gear, and thanks uh, again to Goody uh, K3NG. Um, this is Bill K8VIT signing out.